superhuman quick resiliency. Yeah, yeah, let me, I know who lasts. I know who lasts. I know who's fast. I know who has to be doing it. They doing it. They doing it. There's only one left. There's only one left. There's gonna be the rock first, but there's only one left. <laughs> yes. Yes. And I didn't even see them walk like that, but come on. This is awesome. <laughs>
Undertaker and John Cena, like clearly they had to have. I mean, I sincerely thought they didn't invite Stone Cold, so I don't know if it was a money issue. It couldn't have been a schedule conflict. I mean, Stone Cold could have took one night out of schedule. Dude lives on a ranch, you know, with kittens and roosters chilling. He could have, I mean, I don't know, but it's a shame. I'm letting that, you know, affect me. It's one of the greatest moments in WWE history, but damn, it was all set up for Stone Cold. I don't get it. I don't get it, but I'm used to being let down. I'm a Saints and Pelicans fan. I'm used to being let down. Still a great moment for Cody. If you're new to this channel, hit the like and subscribe button. Oh no, I'm just a human being who somehow thought the way to let one of the beautifulest moments in WWE history return to me being upset that my dog Steve Austin didn't show up, but I am not the law. See you guys next time, man. Shout out to all you Cody crybabies. This shit more than the game. If you like this video and hit that subscribe button, give me a hell yeah.